guys, this is Laura from Pearl Soho, and I'm going to demonstrate Kitchener Stitch. Kitchener Stitch is a finishing technique for grafting together two rows or two rounds of live stitches by creating a new row of knit stitches between the two. And you do this using a threaded tapestry needle. You can see I have my work oriented on parallel needles. The points of both are facing towards the right. And my fabric is right side up or right side facing me. Typically when you do Kitchener, you're going to use the tail of your work, but so you guys can see more clearly what I'm doing, I'm going to use this contrast yarn. There are two setup stitches. First, take your threaded tapestry needle through the first stitch on this front needle. And you want to bring it through purlwise or as if to purl from back to front. Next, you want to take your tapestry needle through the first stitch on the back needle knitwise or as if to knit from front to back. I'm going to tack this tail down with my thumb since it's not anchored anywhere. Now we're going to do a series of four steps that we're going to repeat over and over again. One. Take your needle through the first stitch on the front needle knitwise from front to back and let this stitch drop off that needle. Then take your tapestry needle through the first stitch on the front needle purlwise and you're going to let this stitch remain on that needle. The third step is to bring this tapestry needle through this first stitch on the back needle purlwise and let that stitch drop off that back needle. Then lastly the fourth step is to take your tapestry needle through this first stitch on the back needle knitwise and you're going to let that stitch stay on that needle. So now let's repeat these steps a few times. Come through the first stitch on the front needle knitwise and pull that stitch off the needle. Come through the first stitch on the front needle purlwise and let that stitch stay on the needle. Come through the first stitch on the back needle purlwise and gently pull that, that stitch off the back needle. And come through the first stitch on the back needle knitwise and let that stitch stay on that needle. One more time. First stitch, front needle knitwise, pull it off. First stitch, front needle purlwise, leave it on. First stitch, back needle purlwise, pull it off. First stitch, back needle knitwise, leave it on. All right, one more time. So you can see I'm working pretty um, pretty loosely here and I'm going to after we do one more round I'll show you how you can tighten up these stitches. So let's come through the first stitch on the front needle knitwise and pull that stitch off the needle. First stitch front needle purlwise leave that stitch on. First stitch back needle purlwise pull it off. First stitch back needle knitwise, leave it on. So if you take a look here, you can see these stitches that we're building between our two pieces of fabric. And tightening them up is as easy as taking the tip of your tapestry needle and just gently pulling on them. Oops. And the goal is to get this new row of knit stitches to be the same gauge or tension as your existing fabric, so there's no pulling or puckering. And that's Kitchener Stitch. It's a beautifully seamless finishing technique. It's perfectly flat and smooth on the front and on the back. I hope you use it a lot.